Alright guys, today we're looking at a new rogue called Essential Cleaner, and it is the successor to System Tool and MS Removal Tool. And right now I've just run it, and now I just need to trigger it. And, as you might have guessed, the uh, registration keys that I had used on System Tool and MS Removal Tool no longer work, so we get an updated video this time. It's been five months. It's about time that they fixed it. Anyway... Uh, if you're not familiar with the format of the video, basically I'm going to look at the program for a couple minutes, then I'll look at the effects, what it does to the computer, and then finally, we'll remove this sucker. So, here's the scanner. It's going to find a bunch of uh, fake threats, as you can see. Go ahead and stop the scan. It's going to beg you to buy this. And you've got these five tabs. You can't change anything in them, it, unless if you activate a central cleaner. If you try to do that, it'll take you to this payment page wanting you to pay like 80, 80 to a hundred dollars. Yeah, you definitely don't want to buy it because for one thing, a hundred dollars, two, I mean, do, are you going to give your credit card information to these guys? Come on now, think about it. So, let's take a look at the things that it does. It changes your wallpaper to blue. It's pretty simple. And the other thing, the most important thing is that it blocks programs from running. If we close these balloon notifications. See? Try to trigger it again. Harmful software detected. Close that. Try to run this. See, application cannot be executed. The file migwig.exe is infected. And that happens for pretty much every executable save for a couple of important ones. So, command prompt doesn't work. Um... Regedit does not work. Even Solitaire doesn't work. Infected. But, most importantly, one program that is not blocked is Internet Explorer. So we're able to go and download tools to remove this. And the first program that we're going to get is sort of a, like a one-time thing. It's called Rkill. And what it does is that it will kill any active infections on your computer, any active processes that are malicious, which would, of course, include Essential Cleaner. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So, right now I'm just searching for it. I got a link in the description for our kill. You're going to want to go with the second one, iExplore.exe download link. Download now. Save it to my documents. There you go. Open folder iExplore.exe. Run it. Alright, preparing our kill. You're gonna get a command prompt window that looks like this. And it might take a minute, so be patient. So it's terminating uh, the processes, it just reloaded your desktop, and we have a log. It shows what it killed. Now if you're daring and bold, you can go to C, Documents and Settings, All Users, App Data, and delete this weird looking executable. But you're probably not going to get all of the infection, and I very highly strongly recommend you to go ahead and get Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And that is a free program, very useful, very powerful, works pretty well. Very simple to use, actually. So, of course, download link in the description. So. Go ahead and save it. And run it. Select your language, next, accept the agreement, next, just go through the setup. 
update and launch, click finish. It'll say database updated, and there's malware bytes. Just to make sure that you're on the latest version, go ahead and go to the update tab, check for updates. Boom, latest database version. Back to the scanner, go to full scan, and scan. Select your C drive. Alright, now for you guys, this scan could take a very long time, getting into the hours range. So be prepared to be waiting a very long time for this to finish. But I'm on a virtual machine right now, so this should take somewhere within like 30 seconds to complete. So yeah, this is an unrealistic speed for a regular computer with a lot of files. So yeah. This is actually taking a little bit longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. Fifty-seven seconds, not bad. I was getting twenty-seven seconds earlier, but I installed uh, some virtual box stuff. Doesn't matter anyway. Scan completes. Show results. Mine shows two infections. Yours might show more, but it doesn't matter. Leave them all checked and click Remove Selected. You'll get a log. You can close it. It'll ask you to reboot. Go ahead and click Yes. And that, and that infection should be gone. As you can see, we can run programs and all of that. And if it ever comes back, if it's a recurring infection, you might want to try Combo Fix. It's a very powerful tool. Don't use it often. Uh, it's for removing rootkits and stuff like that. Uh, malware bytes should kill it, but if it doesn't, you might want to try Combo Fix. It's in the description, all of the info for it. And if this video helped you, I do appreciate donations. Got a link in the description for that in the bottom. So thank you for watching.